up with EDK. Let's talk about more of the traditional northern sounds in your music. Uh, straight off the bat, the first track apparently inspired by Zubunta Mata. Yeah, yeah. We don't hear a lot of this in mainstream Afro pop music right now. So how how important was it for you to put that in your music and let it reflect through? Honestly, like when I started working on Enjoy Your Life, like the intro track was the hardest track to make happen because I knew that that was what I wanted. Like off the bat, I was like, this is how I want my album to start because. When I'd go to church in Zaria, like Zumunta Mata, like I'd listen to them and it was just like, it was so captivating for me. Because um, we'd have the normal choir sing, then yeah. they'd come, like Women's Fellowship, and they'd do their thing. And I was just so intrigued, like the drums, the sounds. I was like, what? What's going on? <laughs> like, and I was just, it was so important for my album to start like that. So initially, I was going to go to my village, um, Usasa and Zaria. I was going to go there to record the. My, the the, the fellowship, track, yeah. yeah. I was going to go there to record the fellowship there, but lo- logistics is so mm. long. Mm. So I hit up my brother who lives in between Abuja and Kaduna. And I was like, bro. So we sat down. Um, he co-wrote the song with me and he recorded it. So he got it recorded. He got some women from the Equa Church, the younger, the younger, because like <laughs> most of the people in that women's fellowship, they're older women. Yeah. So he got the younger versions cool. of them. And, you know, just hit up the studio and recorded that. Um, so honestly, I was like so happy with how it turned out because it's just like, yeah. And I, f- I feel like a lot of people from the North, when they listen to it, it's just like nostalgia. People that go to Equa Church as well, they're just like, yo, shit, I'm replaying that. <laughs> you know, people's mothers are like, yo, I love that. You know, they, you know. so yeah. I'm just happy. But a lot of people don't get it still. Yeah. And there are a lot of people because, and the reason that song was important for me is because I go to Lagos and I feel it disconnects from Northern Nigeria to mm. a lot of them. Like a lot of my friends from Lagos, did, like they don't know anything about like Hausa people or what it is to be like from northern Nigeria. Like they just have like bland pictures. They don't know that we, we create our own music. We have our own scene. So like I feel like that song was so important for me and like representation of northern Nigeria. Sound City.